Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It is Thursday. It is November 21st. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And this is going to wrap up our week. No chart lessons on Fridays. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do next week. I'm probably going to come in Monday for sure. Uh, that'll be the 25th. And I may even work Tuesday, but I'll take Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. So, um... If something changes, I'll let you know, but I'll probably be in Monday for sure and probably Tuesday as well. I just haven't decided yet. Uh, I've considered taking the whole week off, and but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to wait and save up some of that for the Christmas holidays. I, I usually will take off the last two weeks of the year going into Christmas, so I'll probably take off midweek right in here somewhere. Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I'll probably stay off through the 2nd, come back in on January 2nd. Um, so, uh, again, we'll talk about that for more when we get into it. I'll probably be in for sure Monday and maybe even Tuesday, and if that changes, I'll let you know. But uh, I'll probably have a better idea Monday what I'm going to do. So, anyway, uh, let's talk about the trades for today. Big, it's just a big trading range. Here's your overnight lows. Here's your overnight highs. And we're trading almost right smack in the middle. Um, this is where we closed yesterday. Looks like we're going to try to close almost flat. If we closed right now, we still got we still got about an hour of trading left. So we could turn back down or we could continue up and we could close unchanged or uh, we might even close up a little bit for the day. So we'll see how it's going. we got a two-tiered channel working up. And it's still in play at this point. What seems to happen is we make these moves either up or down. And then we kind of go sideways for a while. Uh, same thing here. We moved up, went sideways, and then jumped up. And then we moved down, went sideways, moved down, kind of went sideways. Then up and sideways, up and sideways. And that, that's kind of been the MO the last last few trading days so to speak and um we'll just have to see how the day ends up it's after two o'clock anyway so unless you're managing a run or something i wouldn't probably take any more trades today that's just generally my rule and really there wasn't much going on after about 10 30 today um this this trade right here is real close we'll talk about it when we get there so maybe 11 and then we'll talk about this one as well uh, around around one o'clock or so and it just hadn't been much going on today you just didn't really want to go short up here you didn't really have a room to get out going into this these lows and this the ema here and this was the this is the midline of the two-tier channel so it was just a little dangerous going low short into that and when you finally did push through there was no setup there so uh there is a little clue we were probably going to push on through there notice you're getting lower highs each time and you're really kind of making lower lows in there too but that's just really dangerous and you're better off to let it wait on it to break out and then maybe fade it back to the upside you can see that would have been a great trade there uh wasn't a great setup I'll, again we'll talk about it when we get there it won't take long today there's just not many trades most everything was in the morning but let me back out where you can see it a little better And notice we had a steeper blue channel here early on, and then we kind of went into this flatter brown channel, which, you know, you got a break here, but you never really got a new low. We tried to make a new low, and then next thing you know, we were in this up channel going up. And But that happens on range days a lot of times. So, um, But this brown channel certainly looks valid. You can see prices playing off the middle line, both sides. You can see it pretty much finding resistance off this, finding support off here. So it looks valid. It just didn't play out properly because we finally got a break and we never made a new low. And that happens sometimes, so especially on range days. But anyway, let's back on out, make it a little bigger, and go through the trades. Uh, 7 o'clock came right up through here, and you just can't get long right in there. So you just kind of got to wait on something. There's a failed second entry long there, but everything's still above the EMA. So it's a little dangerous, but when it pushes through and comes back, uh, pushes on through the EMA and comes back, really you could count that as a double top. So first entry, second entry. When that failed, I like going short there. And then, of course, we came back again and made a little double top here. 
and another bearish bar right into the back into the range. So I like that one as well. There's a second entry short here, but that bar is not a very good bar, and you got a double bottom right there. So I mean, you you might argue for that one to be green, but it's just you know it might have been a little better set up on your on your chart if it if your signal bar was a little better. I wouldn't have a problem with that trade because it is a second entry short. The only issue I have is there's a double bottom right there and there's not much room at all. But you could have had a little different setup there. And if you did, you may take that one. And notice you got one leg and then you got another measured leg down. And you pushed down a little more and then just went sideways. There is a second entry short right there. My problem with that was we already had two legs down and you were right into this uh, midline right here. That's another one that you could argue that, you know, maybe it, if you want to be a little aggressive, you may take it. Again, I think it's better to wait on something better than that. We, it, we're, we're overdue for a correction. And as we push on down here and we do correct, I don't see any reason to go long here yet. But you get a second entry short right there. But again, they're not a very good signal bar. So I waited on the lower high, which came here. And now you got a double test as well. And so I like entering right there. If you had a better signal bar here, right off that trend line on the second entry, by all means, you could take it. So I'll give it a green one based on that that factor. On my chart, it's not a very good setup. It's just a sec It is a second entry short right off the trend line, but it's that bar is more bullish than it is bearish. It's almost a neutral bar. This was the better setup here. And of course, it runs on down and bounces again. It comes back. And gives you another test and a nice fairly bearish bar. And notice how many times you've come back once, twice here, and then again. So this is the same thing as a double test on a big, little bigger uh, chart. So I like going short there. And it's another nice move down. These two trades here were the best trades of the day, really. And it runs on down. And again, I don't see any reason to to get short over here anymore and then of course finally we bounce off the low side we come back we get a break and that's a second entry short notice your move up first entry and then second entry a nice bearish bar there's a lower high here but by the time that formed now you got you bounce there three times and that's bounce you know that's bouncing there too I just don't think it's a very good idea to go short there wait and see what happens because you might get another leg up like this, and of course that's what happens. And you see if you measure that leg, and then drag it over, we got basically a uh, almost a, it really is basically a perfect measured move. And notice there's a new low. This is basically a double bottom. So first entry, second entry, and look how far away from the EMA you are, and how bearish that bar is. I like going short right there, especially because it's the midline and we've pulled back to test it but the better trade is probably to wait on the lower high and then off it goes again running so two two quick setups right there and then of course we're working lower uh, no setups right in here we finally come back to the trend line and you get a nice bearish bar it's just a first entry uh, I really would wouldn't have a problem making that red if it wasn't for the fact uh, you can actually let me back up you can look at this as a failed second entry short because notice that swing eyes higher in that one so first entry second entry so you could look at that as a second entry long that fails uh, but the reason I made this one green is we had this overshoot and so a lot of times after an overshoot it's just a you know, on the other side you'll get a break pretty quickly and you see it wasn't we didn't get it on this next swing but we got it right here and this would have worked but you don't know that sometimes it'll do it it'll break lower here and go a few ticks and then go up for another leg up and that's what I was afraid of right there and that's why that's green just simply because of this over um, overshoot but otherwise that's a great setup right off the key entry point uh, very bearish bar plenty of room to get out you expect prices if this brown channel is correct which I think it is you would expect prices to try to make a new low anyway which they do and then you get a little double test here and it fails only problem here is this bar is too bearish this bar is too big you don't want to go long right into the EMA and the 
uh, trend line right there. Even though it went higher, you don't know that ahead of time. Of course, you get two legs up, and then you start running sideways, and you're just kind of going sideways. You don't really get a good setup here. Uh, you don't want to go short here yet. You might have considered short here, but you don't have much room to get out. That's the only problem right there. Uh, you just don't have any room to get out. It would have worked regardless, again, with three tries up there coming off the high side. You could probably argue for it to be green. It's very aggressive, though. I think you're better off looking for longs here. And, of course, we get the little failed breakout. And I marked this one green. And the reason is this is technically your signal bar. And this is an inside bar. And even though that has some weight and some merit in this, in considering this trade, it's an inside bar. And they fail a lot. They're not as reliable. So I would have preferred to see this one very bullish. And it's very bearish. But at the same time, on these breakouts and traps, that's how it fools people. So, and then it suddenly reverses. Only problem is here is it gapped over and then ran and straight on up. So, I doubt you would have had an opportunity to get long there. Um, it's just hard to say. So, I did mark that one green. And that was the last I saw for the day. There's a little break lower right here at the highs. But you got a little two-bar matching high up here where you've turned down multiple times. You probably should, could actually move this up now to right here. And you see how that looks. You just don't want to be going long right into that. So it ends up working. But and then it's just not a very good setup. And then you don't get a very good opportunity to go short. There is a lower high right here. It breaks higher and turns down. goes out the other side. But the problem is... is um, you're already into the two o'clock hour and you're still, a, you got to go short here unless you wait on this bar, which is awfully big. You have to go short right into the EMA. And I don't think I'd want to let it break lower and trade back. Not this close to the EMA or midline because it could hit it and bounce and go, go higher. I don't know why I keep hitting that button. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, Uh, that's what I saw today. Uh, you know, early on it was a pretty good day. It was mostly downhill, and there were several pretty good trades here. A couple, few, a couple of them you probably would have caught a runner today, but there just wasn't. Um, after about 11 o'clock, there wasn't much going on. So there's a few uh, what I'd call aggressive trades over here. But again, if you had a little different setup, you may take them. So. So I think that's going to do it today. Again, you, you had your, originally you had your blue channel working down. Then it, it, of course, that's too steep, and then it kind of flattens out, and you get a more 45-degree angle. It's still a little steep there, but it, it just suddenly reverses and goes the other way. And so it could be that there's an overshoot here. I may have this in the wrong place. It might be more like this right here. It does fit pretty well, except for that that overshoot right there. But generally, you would expect if you're going to get an overshoot, you'd get a break on the other side. And we just don't get that. So, um, And that would also change the midline, which it still fits there. Not nearly as well. I'm, I still feel like this is it right here. And now your midline's working properly down through there. You can see it. Price is playing off of it both both sides. So I believe that to be it. But anyway, uh, you had two tiers, two uh, a two tiered channel working down, and then we suddenly just reversed, and you had a two tiered channel working up, and that's a fairly nice 45 degree angle. And you can see prices are bouncing off that off the midline right there like I just discussed the possibility of happening and that's where you need to want to get short there so um, it could still turn back down and work but I don't think it's worth risking it so anyway I'm gonna wrap it up and um, try to get out of here early today and I'm probably gonna do the same and start my weekend a little early tomorrow but um, I'm done for today hope you had a great trading day hope you've had a good week 
we'll be back again Monday, and unless something, unless I change my mind and take the whole week off. And if I do that, I'll let you know. But anyway, uh, hope you have a great weekend. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.